taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Light Saber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk once again about Zen. I'm really struggling not to buy more Zen right now. So tempted to buy more Zen because every single day I'm getting even more bullish on this particular project, the ecosystem. Okay, guys, so I wanted to do another video on Zen and just talk about it. You know, the price is looking like it might come down a little bit, but you just never know. It's such a bullish chart. It's such a low market cap. It's such a degen plate right now. My original plan with Zen was to mint Zen for free. Okay, just mint Zen, long-term mints, mint it for free, claim it, mint again on several chains, and uh, essentially that's free money minus gas fees. Okay, guys, but... I think the best strategy is to be minting Zen and buying Zen for the simple fact that the chart came all the way down, okay? And um, the sentiment on this particular project is just super bullish, okay? The community is just growing and the founder, the dev, the development team are killing it, okay, guys? So, you know, that's what got me thinking about liquidating other tokens and flinging them into Zen, for example, right? Because, you know why if you're more bullish on one particular token it makes sense to kind of you know get rid of some of the tokens that you're not really as bullish on okay although you might be bullish on them um but of course you know it's wise to be diversified so you have to resist the temptation to uh you know get rid of your bags because you might be missing out okay you might be um spread too thick in one particular altcoin or token you could possibly be wrong on i don't think that i'm wrong on zen crypto while it's sitting at a low market cap at only 46 million i believe around 46 million let's just get up the zen market cap um it should be around okay so it's about 45 million just under 45 million at the time of recording this video okay guys and um just like i said in the previous video i'm not sure whether this is the true Market cap at 44 million, 45 million. It says fully diluted at 19, just under 20 million. And, you know, coin market cap really need to fix that. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's super low in market cap. I can easily see this in the hundreds of millions, even the billions, potentially. Okay, guys, so, again, I'm bullish on this token. If you didn't know it before, you know it now. Total supply, 10.3 trillion zen. Okay, 10.3 trillion zen okay liquid supply is 44 million right guys so you can see right here it says that the total supply is three trillion three trillion says 10.3 trillion which is probably more accurate considering the minting today's minting 547 billion okay guys which is only worth about 2.8 million dollars okay guys so people are still going 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 hard minting zen okay and, um, you know, if you didn't see my previous video, I talked about the fact you can mint Zen. I do recommend that you do mint Zen. Um, it's not financial advice, of course, but it's only costing you gas fees, okay? You're not, it's free, okay, guys? And you can literally mint Zen. Just come over, click that button, and mint Zen on, you know, uh, each wallet. You can also stake Zen, okay? You can stake Zen for 18% APY. So um, that's obviously a good strategy to do as well. Um, you don't actually lose anything by unstaking early as well. So you can set your term days, let's say 100 days or 200 days. If you stake around, how much Zen have I got in this wallet? Around 768 million Zen. If you stake that amount of Zen for, uh, let's say, 300 days, uh, you're getting around another 113 million Zen. Okay, guys, that's quite a lot of Zen. For and, and you know, considering the fact that the Zen price may increase, okay, so you know, how much will 113 million Zen be worth? I know it's 20% APY, but if Zen goes up four to five X, you're then getting closer to a hundred percent APY technically in USD value, okay, guys. So that's why it may be beneficial to stake Zen, especially if you believe it's going to go up that much. However, if you do unstake your Zen before the maturity date, okay. You, you, you don't get a penalty, but you don't get any of the yield. So um, you can withdraw your original stake amount plus yield at any time after the maturity date. Uh, so if you put 100 days and you withdraw after 100 days, you're going to get your Zen back. You're going to get your yield. 
if you decide to cut it short because Zen just went up a thousand X, right? Now you want to pull out your state. You want to take profits before everyone dumps on you before because you just never know. Okay, guys, it might do even more X's than that. And just like people made a bunch of money in hex, right? But, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that will want to unstate. There's going to be people that are going to want to take some of those profits because they're going to see life-changing money. So with hex or with wise or with other protocols that we've been in, there's an early unstake penalty. With Zen, there is no early unstake penalty. Okay, guys? The ecosystem is super bullish, in my opinion. Um, there's a new one that I've just come across called Zell. Okay, I saw it tweeted yesterday. Okay, um, this was tweeted by the Zen uh, Twitter. Okay, guys, about Zell, the dopest token that mints with Zen, hooking up early birds with mad gains. Now, I don't know too much about this, but if you go to zencrypto.io, which is the main Zen website, um, the Zen minting site is slightly different. I'll link that in the description at zen.network. But if you go to zencrypto.io, you can also click, uh, you can mint Zen from there. But if you click on this button right here, mint Zell and Zen on the app, uh, you can basically mint this new token, I believe. I'm not, I, I believe it's new because I only just saw this tweet yesterday. So you might know a little, a little bit more about this than me. So if you do, please feel free to let us know in the comments what this is all about. Because I've literally, over the last, uh, you know, 20 minutes just really been looking at this to be honest but um yeah i mean this is a uh, yeah i'm not sure what this is but um the point that i'm making is that the ecosystem is growing okay the ecosystem is growing and that's something that i'm super bullish on which which gets me even more bullish on zen because the ecosystem you've got zenlon okay this is a mean coin built on top of or built to support zen and the minting of db zen DB Zen, something that's built to support the minting of Zen, okay, and the Zen NFTs. Now, some people are saying that DB Zen is better than Hex, okay, or at least Jack Levin believes that it's better than Hex. All right, guys, I'm not, I'm not going to argue with anything, okay. It is what it is. Um, I have been looking at DB Zen today and kind of, you know, uh, considering the staking. I, I'm not sure what the yield is on staking, okay, but. DB Zen is an interesting, uh, if we go to the website, now I did mint some of this already on Phantom, but um, it's not really, um, you know, I don't intend to mint anymore on Phantom, uh, the, the liquidity is super low, uh, I think Ethereum is the place to be, because the whole point is, is getting these uh, fees, right, the Ethereum fees, now you get your DXN, when you mint DB Zen, well, you also earn a passive income. So you can state your DBZN and earn Ethereum fees. Now, most of the volume is on Ethereum. So this is probably the place to be to mint DBZN or DXN to earn a passive income in Ethereum. Okay, guys. Now, although I did it on Phantom, the volume on Phantom, like I said, uh, liquidity, transactions, everything on Phantom is not that much. So in terms of fees, what I'm earning on Phantom is not a lot. Okay, it's not a lot and it's probably not going to be a lot. Um, unless it does pick up, um, uh, you know, over time, but, um, you know, people seem more interested in DBs than on Ethereum. I haven't checked out the other chains like Avalanche or, um, Polygon, for example, but, you know, I think Ethereum is the main one to be minting DBs then on, uh, this is going to be the most profitable. Okay, guys. So, you know, the ecosystem has got me bullish. So I am considering buying some DBs then, uh, staking it and just, uh, I mean, I, I'm not, I did look into minting DB Zen, okay, but minting it, um, you have to burn Zen and also burn, uh, sorry, you have to burn Zen and also there is a fee, if you look, let's say for example you do a thousand or a hundred batches, right, let's go a thousand batches on DB Zen, right, um, there's a protocol fee, is it a thousand batches, wow, that looks pretty low, is that correct, is that correct, Right, so I was playing around with this earlier. It doesn't look like the protocol fee is updating. No, it's still spinning. Okay, let's just refresh it and try again. So the protocol fees are quite high. If you do a thousand uh, batches, which would be uh, around 250 or is that 250 million Zen? 
sorry, 100 batches, right? 100 batches with 250 million Zen, okay, guys? And that will cost you one Ethereum, 1.1 Ethereum, just to mint that batch. All right, guys. Now, you do get some of that back, of course, um, as a rebate, apparently. And um, you also, you're, you're claiming fees here as well. So, you may uh, get a full ROI on that protocol fee. And um, in terms of the DXN that you earn, I'm not sure. Because uh, it mints a certain amount on a daily basis. And um, it's not the beginning. If I would have been jumping in on this from the beginning, I would have been like, you know what? Let's burn some Zen. Um, you know, pay some Ethereum, whatever. That probably would have been the most profitable time to do this. I'm, so I'm not sure how profitable it is. You can let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm sure there's many of you out there that know a little bit more about this than me because I'm just literally doing the research on it. I did look at it. I didn't look into it properly. I went ahead and just burnt some Zen that I had on Phantom. And that's it. I don't really know too much about the protocol. I'm not an expert on DB Zen. But um, ultimately, I know that I want to be holding a bunch of Zen. Okay, guys, because Zen is a beneficiary of these new protocols. Okay, guys, this DB Zen is causing people to burn Zen. And um, obviously, that's going to make Zen more deflationary. Now, yes, you can burn DB Zen to earn the Exelon token um, uh, and so on. Okay, guys, so I think this ecosystem is super bullish. And I am very excited about what the future holds for this particular project, which is why I'm going to continue talking about it. So the chart is looking super bullish as per usual. Okay, guys, it doesn't look like it's going to dip very much. It could potentially do, but people are holding on to Zen right now. You can see, look at every other pump in the past. It comes up, it comes straight back down. It goes up, straight back down, right? It comes up, it comes straight back down. People were looking for a quick buck. And right now, we're seeing it come up, consolidate, come up, consolidate. Okay, guys, so... This is a super bullish chart, and people are very excited about this token. Just as much as I am by the looks of it, they are holding on to their tokens, and the volume has been a lot better. Of course, it's been decreasing, but we see the price going up. If we see the volume begin to spike again, that's just going to mean another pump. Okay, guys. So, and the volume, the spike that we want to see, we want to see a green volume spike, not a red volume spike. However, if you look at the size of some of these red volume spikes, they're not, this is not causing huge pullbacks, people are holding, okay guys, people are holding, and um, you know, I don't blame them, because this is just a super bullish token, it's fair, it's free, and um, it's got a, a founder that was number 29 in Google, I know I said in the previous video he was ranked number 2 or something like that, it's number 29 if I'm not mistaken, but he's a super smart guy, and he's like a workhorse, man. He just keeps banging things out. I don't know if he's behind these other projects. Like like I said, I don't know too much about them. I, I don't know if he's actually behind DB Zen. He promotes it a lot. I mean, if you go to the main website, um, if you go to the main website, I do believe it's actually featured on here as well. Um, am I wrong? Okay, I might be wrong. Um, I saw it feature, so I did see it somewhere, where am I thinking, um, okay, I did see it somewhere, okay, I saw it, in fact, is it, oh, projects, right, projects, if you go over here on projects, you've got DB Zen and Zen Lan Mars, okay, guys, so, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> super bullish on this, okay, guys, still learning, of course, but, um, yeah, I'm bullish on Zen, and, um, if you're not, I don't know, why not, if you, <laughs> let me know in the comments if you've got something to say, but, that's about it for this video, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe, like, and comment down below. Tick the little bell for notifications, and um, I'll see you in the very next video.